Hello, I'm Brad Swanson, and today I want to talk about whether your manager should also be your Scrum Master. And this topic is interesting to me because uh, some time ago I was explaining to a client the role of Scrum Master. And I explained that the Scrum Master will facilitate team meetings, team events, all of the Scrum ceremonies. Scrum Master also is a coach for the team someone who makes sure the team is performing at their best. And third, the Scrum Master removes impediments, any roadblocks that are slowing the team down. So as I finished explaining this, my client turned to me and her response was, well, if the Scrum Master does all of those things, then what am I supposed to do? And I didn't have a great answer for that. Uh, it really got me thinking about this because the conventional wisdom, if there is such a thing from most uh, agile coaches out there, is that managers should not be scrum masters. And why is that? Well, there tend to be a few reasons people will cite for this. Um, the first one being that some managers may not have the right mindset, the right leadership style, the right skills to be a good scrum master. A second one, and this is a big one often, is that people on the team have this fear and anxiety when they're talking to their manager, the person who is going to determine their salary and whether or not they get promoted. And that fear, that anxiety, will get in the way of a healthy relationship between team members and the Scrum Master. A third reason, potentially, is that, well, maybe this is really too much work for one person. Now, my experience says it's not. Um, my client, who asked that question about what am I supposed to do if, uh, that tells me that she does not believe it's too much work. I would also argue that um, the most important thing for any good manager, a good leader to do, is to be cultivating a great team. So let's go back to that first objection. Some managers um, might not have the skills, the traits, the mindset to be a good Scrum Master. But when I think about the qualities, the traits that I look for in good leaders, I think I would like to have the same qualities, those same traits in both managers and Scrum Masters. So I would like leaders in general to be good facilitators. They should have good facilitation skills. Um, they should also um, be good coaches. They should be great at coaching teams. Um, they should also have this servant leader mindset that we talk about a lot in Agile. Uh, this servant leadership mindset of serving the team um, can go a long way to alleviate some of this fear and anxiety. So I think that might get us part of the way towards solving that one too. But remember that this fear and anxiety has a lot to do with compensation. The person who's going to be deciding my salary, deciding my bonus, deciding on my promotion. I, I might be careful about how I interact with that person. So how might we fix this issue? Well, a lot of organizations today are revamping their traditional performance appraisal system. Um, companies as, as large and, and uh, staid as IBM, GE, Microsoft, Accenture, they've all gone about revamping this traditional annual performance review. What many of these organizations are doing instead is they're gathering actionable feedback um, on, on their employees more frequently, much more frequently, every few weeks, maybe at most every few months. So we're gathering that feedback, and in, in the most part, we're gathering that feedback directly from the individual's peers, those team members who are interacting with that person on a daily basis anyway. So if we base our compensation decisions primarily on peer feedback, peer review, the manager 
can act more as a facilitator for that feedback process, helping people to be better at their jobs and less seen as the sole decider for who gets promoted and who gets the biggest raise. <clears throat> so my hypothesis is that if we can move away from the pointy-haired boss leadership style and move toward that servant leadership style and at the same time if we can manage to reduce or eliminate this fear and anxiety that people have about um, compensation decisions then I do believe one person can in fact be a good uh, manager and scrum master. So the two conditions again that I think make it possible are that servant leadership mindset which we want to have in our leaders anyway and a compensation system that's fair and based on, on peer review to eliminate that fear. Um, not only do I think it's possible for this to work, but I think it may in some cases be beneficial for a manager to play that scrum master role. And this is because I often see organizations um, assign a scrum master to maybe four or five or six teams and they, they end up watering down the Scrum Master role um, to where it doesn't have a lot of teeth, Scrum Master doesn't have a lot of influence, and doesn't have a lot of time to really coach uh, their teams and to add that value that we're really looking for. Sometimes I call that role the Scrum Secretary role rather than the Scrum Master. So if we have a good servant leader as manager who's focused on his or her team and coaching that team, facilitating that team, removing roadblocks for that team, I think that manager in fact could be a great scrum master. It may take a little bit of work within the organization and within the team to get to that point, but uh, I do think it's possible. Thank you.